Hello everyone. Welcome to this course on deep generative models. My name is Pratosh and I am a faculty member at the division of EECS Indian Institute of Science Bangalore. So in this course we are going to look at several deep generative models also known as generative AI these days. The primary objective of this course would be to develop a mathematical foundation for uh, generative modeling or generative AI. Um, the uniqueness of this course would be that we will be looking at uh, all the famous generative models from a mathematical standpoint. Why we are not going to discount the practical aspects of it, the development or the treatment of the topics would be from a mathematical standpoint so that one can go deep into the workings of uh, these models and appreciate and understand the formulations of all these and easily go through the publications, the original papers and the improvisations thereof corresponding to these models. So that being the objective, let me just walk you through the broad list of topics that would be covered in this course. So we'll be looking at a large family of DGMs. So DGM is an abbreviation that I'm going to use for deep generative models. Uh, the uh, deep, the word deep here signifies that most of these models have a neural network component to it and these are typically the deep neural networks. So that's why I choose to call these deep generative models. So these are the family of uh, deep generative models that are to be covered in this course. We will first start with the adversarial learning and generative adversarial networks, also known as Dhyan's in short. So this, even though not the current state of the art for the several of the tasks, this would set a very solid footing on the principles of working of, workings of generative modeling. So that's why we will start out with Dhyan's as the uh, first uh, topic that we'll be covering in this course. Then we will move on to the class of models called the Variational Autoencoders, uh, abbreviated as VAEs. So, uh, like GANs, these are uh, classical models. Okay? However, uh, workings of VAEs and the underlying theoretical frameworks that are there for VAEs uh, sets the ground for studying a lot of the other state-of-the-art models such as uh, DDPM. So once we look at adversarial learnings and GANs, we will go to the variation autoencoder family of models. Then we will look at uh, denoising diffusion probabilistic models, also known as diffusion models in chart, abbreviated as DDPMs. So these are the state-of-the-art models for several of the generative tasks, such as uh, image, conditional image generation that you might have seen in all the commercially available uh, tools such as DALI and uh, uh, GPT, I mean, that is capable of generating images and so on. So the underlying models that are working there are the DDPMs or denoising diffusion probabilistic models. So uh, uh, a member of, another member of generative model that is very closely related to division models are what, has, what are called as the score-based models. We will also look at uh, how score-based models uh, operate. Then we will move on to another class of uh, generative models called auto-regressive models, uh, abbreviated as AR models. Now, the uh, most famous large language model, uh, which are the uh, fundamental constants of all these uh, uh, generative uh, AI, commercially available generative AI platforms such as GPT and Google's Gemini and you know, uh, models like Claude and Quen and all these, all of these are mostly autoregressive models, uh, which are also known as the large language model. You'll be looking at autoregressive models as well. 
then we will move on to another class of models generative models called as state space models uh, ssm uh, the examples for these models are like s4 and mamba and so on these are upcoming family of uh, generative models that for an alternative to the auto regressive uh, language models now at the end of the course we will also look at some of the techniques uh, that are used for alignment of uh, large language models specifically specifically we will be looking at uh, reinforcement learning based alignment techniques such as uh, ppo which is uh, the uh, called the proximal policy optimization algorithm and we'll also look at uh, direct preference optimization uh, direct policy of op preference optimization abbreviated as dpo okay so this is the broad content of uh, the uh, the course that we are going to uh, go through in this particular uh, uh, module okay now the treatment of the subject would be mostly as i said mathematical and we will be using a probabilistic framework to deal with these uh, uh, generative models now why do we look at uh, these models from a probabilistic uh, framework is something that we, we are we'll going to uh, discuss in a while now we'll be mostly looking at these models from a probabilistic framework okay there will be accompanying tutorials for this course where uh, for each of the classes of generative models that we are going to cover in the uh, lecture classes there will be accompanying tutorials where uh, uh, one of the tas would uh, walk you through the implementation uh, of these models uh, typically in a, in a framework such as pytorch okay so there will be uh, the evaluation etc will be uh, set up according to the uh, the uh, design that we have uh, made for this particular course which has uh, quiz quizzes and uh, assignments and exams and so on which you would know in uh, due course okay so with that being an introduction uh, okay so the other point is that uh, i will mostly be uh, delivering the content using uh, uh, this setting where i would be writing everything that is needed on my uh, ipad screen that would be projected the one that you are seeing right now and uh, uh, wherever it is needed uh, we will see uh, the corresponding papers or uh, the other presentations and so on but by and large this is going to be uh, me working on this uh, ipad surface now this is because as i said since the treatment of the subject is uh, mostly uh, mathematical uh, i think it is imperative to write down the equations in a rigorous manner so that uh, we can go through each of the details uh, in a uh, slow manner okay the other thing is the entire course is going to be conducted in a data agnostic manner in the sense that uh, i will not be restricting myself to uh, let's say uh, images or text or speech or any other kind of modality while i'll be taking specific examples as and when they are needed the course would be done in a data modality agnostic manner it means that the techniques that would be studying would be general enough that with minor modifications one can adapt the same kind of models for different kinds of data modality okay so if there is something specific that is needed for a particular modality i would uh, mention it as and when it is needed 